Hey, welcome back to Clean Cut, where we can talk about the truth about just about anything, as long as we use logic and common sense. This season, we're returning to the topic of the Psalms and their meaning. Now, a brief disclaimer before getting into this psalm. The psalms will be numbered differently in different translations of the Bible. This is a very, very old discrepancy, and to help clear things up, I'll be explaining what number the psalm has in the Dewey Rames Bible and in the Revised Standard Version. However, the episodes themselves will list psalm numbers as they're given in the Dewey Rames Bible. Sorry if this is confusing. Anyway, this is Psalm 60 in the Dewey Rames Bible, but Psalm 61 in the RSV. Unto the end in hymns for David a simple description of the form of the psalm, a religious hymn. Hear, O God, my supplication, be attentive to my prayer. To thee have I cried from the ends of the earth, when my heart was in anguish. Thou hast exalted me on a rock. Lord, please listen to my pleas, which I offer constantly, even when I'm miserable. God offers me great gifts. Thou hast conducted me, for thou hast been my hope, a tower of strength against the face of the enemy. I'm only a mortal man, but God is unconquerable and powerful, and as long as he guides me, I always have a reason for hope. In thy tabernacle I shall dwell forever. I shall be protected under the covert of thy wings. I'll never stop worshipping God, and God will never stop protecting his faithful people. For thou, my God, hast heard my prayer. Thou hast given an inheritance to them that fear thy name. It's only because of God that we have anything in our lives which can be passed on from our parents to us. Thou wilt add days to the days of the king, his years even to generation and generation. God can lengthen a person's lifespan if he wants to. A long life is considered a great blessing by David. He abideth forever in the sight of God, his mercy and truth, who shall search? God will always know his faithful, because of his honesty and mercy. This verse now carries much greater significance now that we know about the existence of heaven, a destination where the faithful can be eternally closer to God than they could have been here on earth. So will I sing a psalm to thy name forever and ever, that I may pay my vows from day to day. Because of this, I'll sing worship songs and keep all my promises to God. It contains promises of future worship, but in general this is a psalm of pure praise and positivity. No time is spent dwelling on the bad things about life during this psalm, and though requests are mentioned early on, they're clearly not the focus of the psalm at all. This one is just about praising God, making it one of the highest psalms, since it has the highest subject, God himself. That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.